For the 1988 Formula 1 season, Steve Nichols designed what would become one of the most successful Formula 1 cars of all time, the McLaren MP44. It was powered by a 1.5 litre V6 turbo engine supplied by Honda and fielded the iconic Marlboro McLaren livery. The engine produced 675 brake horsepower, but with the car only weighing 540 kilograms, this F1 car had a power to weight ratio of 1,250 brake horsepower per tonne. To put that into perspective, a Koenigsegg 1.1 has a power to weight ratio of 1,000 brake horsepower per tonne. The MP44 won all but one of the races in 1988 and claimed all but one pole position as well. It was driven by Alain Prost and Ayrton Senna, with Senna claiming the driver's title that year. Statistically, this car is the most dominant car in Formula 1 history, with a win-to-race ratio of 93.8%. The closest any other car has come is the 2016 Mercedes W07, which won 19 of 21 races, giving it a win-race ratio of 90.5%. Now it's time to see how fast this incredible machine can go up the Goodwood Festival of Speed hill climb. And the McLaren MP44 did the Goodwood Festival of Speed hill climb in 38.6 seconds. That places it 10th on our F1 leaderboard, 0.1 seconds behind the 1996 Ferrari F310, and 0.8 seconds ahead of the 1995 Ferrari 412 T2. What I find most impressive, however, is that it beat the Lotus 98T by 1.5 seconds. The Lotus had around 500 more brake horsepower with its turbo set up in qualifying trim, but with the power delivery nowhere near as smooth as in the McLaren uh, from two years later. The McLaren was a much nicer car to drive overall and was a lot more predictable than the Lotus. Now that we have driven 14 F1 cars up the hill, it amazes me that the actual record holder from 1999 to 2019, the McLaren MP413, sits a lowly 13th on our leaderboard. Now obviously the cars are going to be slightly quicker in game, I'm running the track under ideal conditions and I don't have to worry about smashing a car up as I can just reset, but I'd love to see a Ferrari F2004 be timed up the hill to see how close its time would be to mine in real life. Now I hope you have enjoyed this video and don't forget to join us next time where we'll be driving another Turbo F1 car up the Goodwood Festival of Speed hill climb. Bye bye.